Social distancing is a privilege that these people cannot afford. All across India, day laborers rush to transportation hubs, carrying whatever they could. The nationwide lockdown has put millions out of work and started a mass exodus from the cities. For these people who are leaving New Delhi for their hometowns, the fear of starving is currently greater than the fear of infection with the coronavirus. If we had food, why would we have left? We're not enjoying this. We know that a pandemic is spreading, but we were forced to leave. We're taking precautions and keeping as much distance as we can. The government did nothing. Otherwise, we wouldn't have left. India's efforts to contain the coronavirus have plunged the country into chaos. After transportation was shut down, some state governments arranged buses to bring migrant workers back to their home villages. But in other states, people were left stranded and forced to walk hundreds of kilometers home. Day laborers, street vendors and other informal workers form the backbone of the Indian economy. With police chasing them off the streets and no savings to fall back on, the lockdown puts many of them at risk. Prime Minister Narendra Modi, who had ordered India's 1.3 billion people to stay home, has apologized for the hardships they are now facing. Especially when I look at my poor brothers and sisters, I think they must be wondering what kind of prime minister I am who has put people in such a difficult situation. I especially ask for their forgiveness. So far, roughly 1,000 people in India have tested positive for coronavirus, but experts worry numbers could be much higher. Fears are that an outbreak in one of the world's most densely populated countries could result in a catastrophe.